In this video I show you how to change the some program settings. So we go to the preferences menu general settings and then first I open the, sh the default settings. And the, all these default settings they are stored in a file called settings default ini. In the print the principle you, you could change some settings there. But the problem is if you download in a new version of the code then these settings, your own settings, would be, would be overwritten. That's why there is also a, um, a file called settings user where there's a subset of those settings that you can change according to your own needs. For instance, what I've done here, I've defined a path where uh, KMAP searches first for cube files or for HDF5, HDF5 files. You can change this path to your own uh, to, to, to the directory where you store your cube files usually and you can also change the color map and things like this I will show you some of the uh, features now so for instance I want to so I've already loaded some uh, data and created some profile plots now I want to change the, the color of these uh, lines here so I go to my local now first I've, I go to the default settings and there is a block here called profile plot just make a copy paste this block here to my own user setting here and then so so basically these are the the, uh, um, the settings that I used for the, the line plots here so these are colors in r red green oops red, green, blue. I do think I changed something here. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter. Red, green and blue in uh, hexa, hexadecimal code. And then the line width and this is the symbol uh, style. So for instance, if I want to have not a, a cross here, not a green color is the first line I just change it to a cross, say a larger symbol size and the color should be red. So red should be FF000, zero, zero, zero. so that's red. And I save it and reload the settings, go to the profile plot, refresh the plot and that's it. So the, without closing and opening the program, the settings can be load it on the fly basically so this is one thing that you can do uh, changing the color or maybe a more important setting is this one here so this is a very crucial setting for calculating the momentum maps from three-dimensional real space orbitals and, and these are the recommended settings so there's a maximum kinetic energy. So if you need larger kinetic energies, then you have to change this setting here. And this is the spacing in momentum space for the three-dimensional Fourier transform. So you, if you want to have a higher accuracy, then you should change this, but be careful with this because the memory demand scales with the third power. Of this number so if you if you have this value then the memory demand goes up by a factor of eight and so this also the computational time scales with this uh, power I would say but anyway so this is one thing that you can uh, um, convenient to change here uh, another thing that I want to show you is uh, in terms of color maps so there's a number of predefined color maps. So you can choose one of those color maps here, but you can also uh, customize the color map and then save it. So for instance, um, I want to change this color map. Then I just go here and say, I want to replace red and uh, blue here by yellow, say, and this red by, by blue. And maybe instead of white in the middle, 
I want to have another color, maybe this kind of black. And also introduce a new color in between if I like, say orange. And I've got a really ugly color map that I can give a name here, my own color map. I add it and save it and that's it. So if I now um, I can show you close the program and start it once again open some data file then my color map is still there but it looks different for some reason that is weird no it is no it looks the same ah i was just look i uh, was just confused because it i was looking at different uh, uh, slice okay so that's it uh, by the way uh, just to remind you the settings that have these color map settings are also you, you can see the color map settings are in this file here so if i want to have my be sure that my own color maps are not overwritten once i update the program i should actually copy make a copy of those color map json file and add it to my local settings here so on the path here i sh should add the color map pointing to the my own local color map setting okay that's about 